everybody, Marco Carvalho here from businesscreditbuilders.org. Today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get revenue-based financing for your business. We're gonna share with you in this video what is revenue-based financing, how does it actually work, and what does it take to qualify for revenue-based financing. We're gonna share with you a company that offers this particular type of financing with no personal credit check and no personal guarantee. So let's get started. What is revenue-based financing? What is it? Revenue-based financing is for businesses that have strong monthly revenue. So if you're doing 20,000 or more a month in revenue as a business, that's the type of revenue to get this type of financing. And why would you want this particular type of financing? Well, obviously you know there's many different types of credit, financing, and funding you can get as a business. But revenue-based financing allows you to borrow money and repay it as a percentage of your future income. What's different with that is when you're applying for like a business loan, there's collateral that's usually required, a personal credit check that's required, and they look at your P&Ls, they look at your financials, so there's much more involved in a traditional business loan. You have an interest rate, you have a fixed payment, but with revenue-based financing, they're not looking at all that data, they're looking at the revenue of the business, and you're borrowing money based on a or future percentage of your future income. That's how you're repaying on it. So the beauty of that is repayment fluctuates. So with a business loan, you get a fixed monthly payment, you get a fixed amount of funding. With revenue-based financing, your repayment can fluctuate because based on the amount of revenue coming in. So that's why it's flexible, which is great for you because if you have a lower month in revenue, your payment to repay on, let's say, a, a, a loan you took from a revenue-based finance will not be as high because you have less revenues, where the business loan, they don't care. You're paying that fixed monthly payment and that's it. So that's why revenue-based financing is a little bit more flexible when it comes to repayment. So as far as borrowing money using revenue-based financing, there's no collateral. With a lot of traditional business loans, they may require uh, collateral. They may re they're obviously gonna require a personal credit credit check on you as a business owner, they are gonna require a personal guarantee. And you, if you're going into venture, venture capital, et cetera, you may have to give up equity in your company to get funding. So that doesn't happen with revenue-based financing. It's strictly based on your revenue. This company called Revenue offers this type of financing, but how are they different? What's it, because di obviously many companies that offer revenue-based financing, but with this company called Revenue, they offer a unique approach when it comes to getting funding. First of all, there's no personal credit check to qualify for this, so you don't have to worry about anything impacting you as an individual owner. So that's why revenue-based financing may be an option for you. Let's say you have good revenues as a business, but let's say you don't want your personal credit used, or let's say you have bad personal credit. Well, you can avoid that with this type of funding. There's no personal guarantee, so there's no type of recourse to you as an owner. So with a lot of business loans, you may have to require a personal guarantee. So if your business doesn't pay, then you as an individual are on the hook to repay based on that default. Okay, so that's where you're personal liable. With this, there's no PG, so there's a clear separation between you and your business. Next thing is you don't have to give up equity in your company. You have full ownership in getting this type of funding. With revenue, it's not a loan. It's the flex line, that's what they call it, is a flex line is a purchase of your future receivables. Okay, so that's the difference with this type of financing. Well, the approval is based on the revenue of the business and it's not a fixed funding amount as a business loan is. Because with the flex line, it increases in real time as your revenue increases. This is really unique for you as a business. If you're scaling, you're growing as a business, you're gonna act, get access to more funding as the revenue of your business grows. With a traditional loan, let's say you get a fixed amount, you have a fixed payment, you pay back a loan, and let's say you need more funding, you're growing, you have to go reapply for another loan, you have to requalify, etc. With this, this is a flex line that grows as your business grows, so which is really unique. There's no draw fees you have to worry about and no interest charges, because it's a fixed cost. They, they charge what's called a factor rate. 
So for those of you who are not familiar with interest and factor rates, there's the two, those are the two major types of financing out there. Especially with alternative lenders, you're gonna find out majority of them use factor rates rather than interest, whereas you get into like a traditional business loan or a line of credit or credit cards, then you'll hear the term interest rates or APR. What's unique and what's good about a factor rate is you're getting a fixed cost, so it doesn't fluctuate. So you know when you're borrowing X amount of dollars, this is how much it's gonna cost you to borrow that amount of money. So that's what a factor rate is, it's in decimals. All right, so that's how you know how much you're borrowing. You know right up front, if you're gonna borrow this much, this is how much you're gonna be paying, this is how much it's gonna cost you. With an interest rate, the way that works is obviously you're charged interest, like with credit cards, you're charged on the outstanding balance. The, the tough thing with interest on, on credit cards is that can compound your fees, your interest can compound, you can owe much more money if you're not paying that debt off. Okay, so that's the thing you gotta be careful with when it comes to credit card debt. Okay, now with a, a loan, you have a fixed interest rate, you have a fixed payment, and you know it's gonna cost this much, and then you pay it off after a certain amount of time and you're done. So there's many different ways to look at interest and factor rates, but with this, they charge a factor rate. Now you'll see this uh, domain here, revenuebusinesscard.com, that'll take you to revenue. Don't go there yet, because I wanna explain to you how, how to qualify for this revenue-based line, the flex line, and it comes with a business card as well, which is really, really unique. So when you qualify for this revenue-based line, they also issue you a business card with a Visa logo on it, so you can use both of them. You have a flex line, a line of credit, and you also have a card that's tied into your flex line. They issue up to $250,000 credit limit, and obviously that's gonna be dependent on how strong your revenues are as a business. Your approvals are based on revenue, you could draw cash in real time, so for those of you who don't like the idea of like, I may not need a lump sum of money right now, but I want to access to funding when I need it, that's what's unique about this flex line. You're not getting them, you're getting approved, but you're not taking the money right now. You're only paying for what you use. Okay, and that's what's really exciting about this. It's actually a line of credit. So you could draw cash in real time. The card as well accesses your flex line. So when you use the card, if you have a $250,000 flex line, then that's your credit limit also is tied to your card to that flex line. So that's some powerful purchasing power you have with your card. Now there's no application fee to apply. There's no annual fees you have to worry about. No personal credit check like I said. And this does report to Dunn and Bradstreet. So this will help you build up your company's credit. Now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of of uh, this particular revenue product. Now with the advantages, you get access to cash plus your business card. With the easy online application, you have no application fee. You can easily transfer money from your flex line to your business bank account, and you're only paying for what you use. And like I said, your, your credit limits increase over time, and this helps you build business credit. Where the disadvantages are is if you're a sole proprietorship, you can't apply for this particular flex line, and this is not available, available for startups. So if you're less than a year in business, then you can't apply for this particular funding. You have to be over a year in business. The other disadvantage for those of you who are new in business and let's say you don't have strong revenues, uh, you have to be at least doing 20,000 a month in revenues consistently for this particular funding. Let's talk about the FlexLine card that comes with this. This is a Visa business card, so you can use this anywhere Visa and MasterCard is accepted. Your card accesses your flex line that you get approved for and you earn 3% cash back on purchases. You get a mobile app, 24 seven access to business funding and you get an online dashboard which I'm gonna share with you some screenshots which tracks your spending and your payment history. With building business credit, this is another advantage for you when you get funding, this helps you build business credit with Dun & Bradstreet. So this will help you build up your paydex score and as you know, when you have a strong business credit file, this will help you improve, get better rates, let's say for your insurance or when you're applying for additional credit with vendors or suppliers, or if you apply for any type of credit from a lender that pulls a DMB report, this, this trade line, this financial trade line is not gonna report it to your Dun & Bradstreet credit file. So that's another advantage is this helps you establish business credit. How do you qualify for this flex line with revenue? First, you have to be a US-based business. You have to be an LLC or corporation in good standing. Your minimum is one year in business. You have a separate business checking account and your monthly revenue of 20,000 a month and you have to keep an average daily bank account balance of only $1,000. 
Uh, you can't have a negative bank balance beyond three days a month in this, uh, and you can't operate in any type of banking or lending type industries as a business. So that's the qualifications. The application process is really simple. It can be entirely done online. You're gonna go to revenuebusinesscard.com. That'll take you right here to this website. And you'll see there's some basic information you need to fill out right here to get started. Providing your business information, confirm your owner information. You have to also connect your business bank account with Plaid. Once you do that, they'll also do a review. And within an hour, you'll know if you're approved or not for a revenue-based line. Then you'll get issued a card and you can access your platform within 24 hours and start drawing on funds right away. So that's how simple this particular flex line is. So if you're doing 20,000 a month or more revenue, this is just an opportunity for you to be get access to a line of credit for your business, as well as a card that's tied to your credit line. So it's available when you need it and funds within one business day, you can get funds deposited. So here's a couple quick screenshots of what to expect. Um, like I said, your business card is an extension of your credit line. Uh, once you want to draw some funds, you need funds deposited to your account. You just select the amount. It will give you exactly what your repayment terms are and the funds are deposited. Then this is your payment calculator. If you have a certain amount of money you borrowed against your flex line, you know what your repayments are. And it also keeps you track of all your transactions if you're using the flex line card, then you'll know exactly you can keep track of what's being spent on the card as well. So if you found this information useful, give us a thumbs up. Now I encourage you, for those of you who do, are not making 20,000 a month in revenue, let's say you're looking for other types of funding or credit for your business. Let's say you have good, strong personal credit or you have less than 20,000 a month in revenue, check us out at businesscreditbuilders.org. That'll take you to our website right here. So what I recommend for you to do is do a pre-qualification review. If you're not sure what type of funding you qualify for, let's say you're doing under 20,000 a month or you wanna explore other funding options, fill out this pre-qual form, provide us a recent copy of your credit report. And if you have, let's say five, 10,000 a month in revenue, but let's say you have bad personal credit, we can provide you some options to get some cards uh, for the business that don't require a credit check, but you can be doing five, 10,000 a month in revenue. Okay, so these, there are options out there. We also do business credit card funding for those of you who have good personal credit. We can get you up to 150,000 in credit and business credit card funding. We also do loans, lines of credit, etc. So definitely check us out, businesscreditbuilders.org. And we also have a business credit building system right here. And this was a step-by-step -step business credit building system if you're looking to build business credit. Thank you for watching this video. Click subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Make it a great day. We'll talk to you real soon.